is the the whole concept of digital um, in terms of events. So I kind of, against my better judgment, I agreed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's quite a growing, interesting um, conference um, called Devoted and Disgruntled, and it's using a practice which I think is quite exciting where there aren't any hierarchies and, and you know the artists, performers, promoters are kind of all are all kind of work together basically. Um, a similar kind of dynamic where there's the, there's no kind of straight presentations. The people are all empowered to create their own topics. Or what? I, I had no expectations. I mean I kind of like when I look through the, the conference the, the kind of terms of reference, if you like, I found it really exciting because it was, to some extent, there was topics there that are out of my comfort zone. But as far as I'm concerned, that's for me that's quite exciting because it means I'm going to learn something, I'm going to get something from it. You know, the, you know, it, it, the, the digital age is not something that, in terms of my own arts practice, I'm not, not an arts practitioner, but in terms of as a promoter, I. It's an area that, without myself even knowing it, I use digital as a marketing material, but not in terms of the production. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what's happening today and seeing how people are immersed in it and using it and using it very comfortably as a format, you know, in terms of the arts. So, like it. I've been I've 25 years experience of, of working in events. Um, I've only recently set my own company up though, um, a year and a half ago, um, but yeah, I've, I've worked in the field of events and particularly outdoor events for a long, long time, you know, a really diverse range of, of, of events that I've worked in as well, um, sport, arts, entertainment, the whole, the whole thing. I think, I think, and this is one of the things I'm talking about is that um, everything is very, in the sector I've, sectors I've been working in, everything is very, very business focused. So there, there needs to be a raison d'etre for why events seem to be happening. What is the purpose? What are they bringing? And I think in, at times that kind of stops great art from happening um, because as a promoter, a producer, you're, you're always having to think about your audience um, and the effect of the people that are coming and how that helps the land, the property, the businesses that you're involved with. Private, private spaces, absolutely, the, you know, there, is a, there are objectives and there's business reasons why things happen. I mean, I've spent 13 years working in that sector. Um, in the early stages, it was much freer in terms of, um, you know, they wanted good stuff that would attract people, and the criteria wasn't so important. Um, in in public spaces, the the difference is, I find, is that there's in a way there's more freedom, um, but you still need to have sponsors and backers of those of those projects. Um, yeah, and in the kind of like in public spaces then usually it's it's a local authority or, or you know the person that owns that space is different and they have different objectives. I think there's a shift. I think I think as the public purse or funding becomes less then there's more uh, there's more of a notion about how can you commercialize, how can we make where can you generate income from um, not in all cases, but in but in many cases. I mean, I've done a lot of, of recent projects where the bottom line has been we need to bring some income back. We're willing to invest, but how can we commercialise this? In other words, what I mean by that is, you know, with catering operations or retail operations. Um, so it's going into, in some cases, I think free art is going into that kind of territory. My next big project. Um, uh, there's a, a commission that I'm doing down in, in Portsmouth with Portsmouth Festivities, um, which is the whole connection is shipbuilding in Portsmouth. So uh, I'm going to be involved in that and the development of that. My name's John Sackett. 
uh, I run my own business and it's called Big Adventures and we specialise in the, the creation and production of mainly outdoor events 